Life without you been feeling kind of strange Well, I see that you're doing very well Ha, you looking very well I miss the way your perfume smell I miss the way that you blowed up my line Just to make sure that I'm feeling well Welcome back to my channel, I am Katie Jabri And today I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys I have a gender reveal to go to today And I'm actually quite late for it So I'm not gonna drag this intro out Just make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe And I really hope you guys enjoy it But let's just go ahead and get right into the video Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be getting ready i gotta go to a gender reveal and i have literally less than 40 minutes to get ready but i already got the wig that i'm gonna put on i just gotta do my makeup and pick out my outfit i know i might be a couple minutes late but the good thing about it is the venue is only like nine minutes away from my house so at the most i should be 10 15 minutes late and hopefully they don't reveal the gender within the first couple minutes of the event but first thing i'm gonna do is try this wig on i had this wig on briefly i didn't really wear it it's a glueless wig so i wore it glueless but today i think i'm gonna glue it down because i just want to be secure i'm gonna go ahead and put this on and this is a closure wig so i left like the sideburns of my own hair out. I don't know what hairstyle. I think I'm gonna do straight hair today because I ain't gonna have time to really curl it. So let me make a part in this wig. But y'all, I am so excited. So the gender reveal that I'm going to is my brother, closest friend. His name is Kel and his girlfriend is pregnant and they are expecting. So I'm very, very, very excited about this because this would be their first child. And I just love babies. Like honestly, y'all, I've been having a little bit of baby fever and don't get too excited because I'm not having no kids right now. But I just love being around babies. Like it's so many babies just, it seems like so many people are having kids right now. So it's especially in my family. So I literally be over my little cousin's house like every other freaking day because I just love being around the babies. Like I just love it. And I'm glad that I have babies to be around so I'm not trying to have my own, you know what I'm saying? And it seems like every time one baby is getting a little bit older, somebody else is having a baby. So happy about that. I think I'm gonna do um, a deep swoop today because I don't really know how else I'ma camouflage the fact that this is a closure. So let me refix the part, y'all. I am hot, I gotta take this robe off. Every time I do a get ready with me, I be so hot. And it be because I be having on a freaking robe. Of course you hot. Girl, you got on these damn furry ass robes. All right, so now I got the wig situated and I'm just about to put one layer of glue down because I'm sure I'm not gonna have this wig on for longer than today. So I'm just gonna put one layer on. As you guys can see, I am not doing a wig cap method today. I feel like that would be a complete waste of time because you won't even be able to see it for real. So I'm gonna do a generous amount even though I am doing one layer of glue. I'm still gonna put a good bit on, so. I'm just spreading this out. I'm using the Bond Baby adhesive and I love this stuff so much. It has not let me down yet. So it says a lot because I was a de I was definitely like a ghost bond girl. Like you could not get me from using that. Like I that was my favorite, but now I got a new favorite. And I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to Ghost Bond. I really don't think so because this is just way better. It's just way, way better. Trust me on this, y'all. This is the viral TikTok glue if y'all don't know it by its name. Y'all TL might be different than mine, but basically they be like gluing their hands on the doors and like watermelons and like just doing really crazy wild stuff with the glue. But I feel like it's a great marketing tactic because it really shows how strong the glue is and it's really that strong, y'all. Like once you put this stuff down, your wig ain't going nowhere. So I'm weak. I just did two layers. Okay, for real, for real, that's it. Cause I, it's already 2.30, so I need to hurry up. All right. I don't really got time for it to dry no more. So I'm just about to pop this wig back on. Got the wig on. I'm about to adjust the part again. Honestly, y'all, do I wanna do like a middle part now? Let me let me at least give it a shot because I'm about to give up on the side part and I ain't even styled it yet. Let me see. know how I feel about this side part right now y'all okay let's ditch this and try a middle part I 
All right, I got my middle part. Now I'm just about to go through and straighten out this hair. Hopefully, once I straighten out this hair, everything comes together because right now, I'm ready to snatch this whole thing off or throw on a hat. And honestly, I'm leaning towards throwing on a hat because the way that this wig is just sitting, I don't like it. But I ain't gonna give up on it yet. I'm gonna give it a fair shot, but I'm telling y'all right now, I'm telling you right now. But I am telling you right now, that motherfucker that motherfucker back there is not real. Tell y'all, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I am not feeling it right now. Like, okay, it's straightening out pretty good. And I'm taking big pieces because this flat iron is really, really good. So I don't even have to go like piece by piece by piece because it gets super duper hot, so. All right, so far, so good. And I think some of this hair in the back is still wet. Y'all, this is, I literally in shambles right now like this is too much going on for me but I'm not mad at the way that the hair is straightened out this is my first time ever straightening out this hair so I'm impressed I'm I ain't mad at it so say 90% done with my hair now I have to do my makeup it is 256 and I think I'm just gonna do my everyday because I don't have time to sit up and try to figure out no other look but I think I might throw in a little bit of pink eyeshadow or do like I want to be extra pink today because I'm team girl so I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate that yet but I need to hurry up okay so I'm about to just go ahead and get started on my makeup routine I am so proud of myself y'all so we're gonna talk while I do my um makeup because I feel like I can talk better when I'm doing my makeup rather than my hair but when I tell y'all I am so proud of myself because I vlogged all week and y'all will probably get that vlog before y'all get this video um because that vlog I want to get up by tomorrow if not tomorrow I'm gonna shoot for Labor Day which is Monday but I vlogged all week, y'all. All freaking week. I'm not even gonna lie, like some days I really didn't feel motivated to pick up the camera, but I still did because I have goals and I feel like it's important. Like I told you guys, um, I forgot. It was one of my get ready with me that I feel like I just needed to become more serious over the things that God has given me. And one of the things that I feel like I really took for granted is my YouTube channel. And I really plan on bettering that. So I feel like this week I did a really good job at doing that. And I'm so proud of myself because I have really been on my motherfucking Zoom. Okay. I've been doing everything that I said I was going to do. I haven't made any false promises. Y'all know in the past I would be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that and it just never happened although you know i'm gonna be gracious on myself because you know i did deal with real life shit and i did have health problems and mental health problems but i feel like now i'm in a good space and there's just no excuse so that's the era i'm in hold on y'all let me change let me change this because i'm getting hot but yeah like i was saying i am just very 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 proud of myself for doing everything that i said i was gonna do like i feel like that's the best feeling when you tell yourself that you're gonna do something and you actually do it i don't know what it is but it really betters that relationship with yourself um because you start actually believing in it and believing in the things that you say that you want to do i also got my eyebrows done yesterday and that's in the vlog too y'all when i tell y'all she ate my brows up like she ate it up she ate my brows up like when i woke up this morning i was like did i feel in my brows but i didn't they just look that good like but anyways i plan on weekly vlogging but i'm trying to figure out a way to make it make sense for me i don't feel like it it would be good for me to weekly vlog every single week every single month so i'm trying to figure out if there would be like a month out i mean not a month a week out of the month that i don't vlog that i could just you know have to myself because one thing i don't want to do is burn out and i know how crucial that is with content creating when you burn out you can't do nothing like you literally this is Exactly what it sounds like you burn out and I don't want to do that so I want to place aside a week I don't know what week that's gonna be um in the month I want to have grace on myself and I don't want to go too hard because I know that burning out is a possibility so 
yeah but other than that i've been creating content last month in august i did eight videos i believe eight or nine i can't remember it's either eight or nine and that right there was huge for me because i'm the type of content creator for the past couple years that i've only been uploading maybe two to three videos a month and maybe two of those would be sponsored videos and so i've been trying to push myself out of that and create content just for me because i feel like now i have kind of fell back in love with it so i'm having fun with it again and i love that so i was able to film edit and post eight videos last month and that is something right there that i just feel really really good about i don't know where my little powder puff is at. but yeah i just feel really really good about that i just feel so proud of myself and i hope you guys are enjoying the content um also i'm taking it very very easy on myself as far as um the views and stuff like that like i'm not even worried about that i know that will come with consistency my last vlog my last weekly vlog did really good so i'm really proud of that and i'm just gonna keep going i feel like consistency is everything that is the number one thing when people ask me about advice on starting a youtube channel that is something i always tell everybody like be consistent and that makes me kind of like a hypocrite but i have saw how consistency has worked for other people and i really admire the concert creators that has been able to be consistent over the course of years like that is a huge 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 thing like i don't think y'all realize how much time goes into creating content and to create content like that on a consistent schedule is really big like admirable my main focus right now is just staying consistent i am trying to block things in my life that i feel like will um slow me down or discourage me or just you know get me back in that bubble that i was in for so long i'm trying to block those things out of my life and just create more time for me and to do the things that i want to do but i need to hurry up i'm talking a whole lot y'all let me hurry up and blend out my face i shouldn't have put this much concealer on because now i'm gonna have to spend more time blending this out i can't cheat that process because i'm about to be around people it'll be a different story if i just had like a video to film and i only had to be on camera but i will be in front of people today so i need to take my time blending out this product so let me do that right quick and then we'll talk a little bit more for some video ideas and you guys gave some really really good ones that i really want to do this month so i'm excited because some of the videos that you guys have suggested is stuff that i have never done before so that's gonna be exciting like having like maybe even starting like a new little series on my channel i'm excited like i'm really excited for that but y'all i'm almost done it is 3 17 now that now is about to make me 20 minutes late thought i was gonna be 10 15 but i had to blend okay and i really need to blend more all right let me spray and i really seriously need a lash fill but my lash fill isn't until next week the 8th of september so i'm sick about that but i'm gonna have to do what i gotta do because i don't have a choice i can't cheat on my lash girl i can't cheat on her she does entirely too good to cheat on her so i'm gonna have to just stick it out even though my makeup looks a little bit weird because my lashes isn't done i might have to throw in the hat y'all now that i'm looking at things i may have to throw in the hat because i don't like the way my eyes look and i don't like when i don't like the way my eyes look let me try to do a wing because sometimes that helps pull things together but if that doesn't help i'm gonna have to put on a hat okay that helped a little bit that helped definitely help this eye let me see because this the eye i'm really missing them on okay and y'all now that i'm thinking about it i do have a hat that has pink and blue in it and i feel like that would be really cute as like a gender reveal hat let me go get it for y'all so y'all can see it y'all this is the hat 
it's pink and blue and it's at hardy i got this from a store called akira let me see how this looks on this will be my first time ever wearing this hat so i don't know how it's gonna look on my head hopefully it's cute because some hats look weird on my head oh that's cute that's cute i like that okay that's cute okay so but if i wear this I know some shoes that I can wear, but I just don't know what outfit though, because let me show y'all these shoes I got. I have like these little shoes and I feel like they go with the vibe, you know, but I don't got nothing to wear in between. Let me try to hurry up and find an outfit because I gotta go, because I'm already late. Zay texting me talking about fit check. Boy, I ain't even got my fit on yet. Tell the truth, I look better under you. I, I don't have an outfit yet. I'm trying to figure it out. All right, so like I said, I got these shoes. Let me try to figure out what I'm putting on. I feel like maybe like a mini skirt, but I don't have any tops. Like I don't have no shirt. Let me try to figure this out right quick, y'all. Okay, so y'all, I have this camo dress that I feel like would be cute. But I haven't worn this in a long time, so hopefully I can still wear it. If not, I believe I also have a jean dress too that I could wear. Actually, let me try this on first and then I'm gonna try on a jean dress because now that I'm thinking about it, they both might be a look. So, and I still don't know what bag I would put on, so I gotta still figure all this out. But let me try this on with the shoes and then see. Okay, so this is the fit. I feel like it's super Y2K. Let me see how I like the shoes with it though. And I'm so glad that I decided to shave my legs today because they were so hairy this morning. Okay, so y'all, I feel like I really, really like the way that the fit looks with the shoes. I feel very cute and dainty and you can definitely tell I'm team girl, but I'm also, you know what I'm saying? If I need to flip the hat to the back, you know what I'm saying? I can do that as well. I just don't know with accessories. So let me try to go and see what I got because I feel like the accessories really gonna make or break the outfit. And then I also gotta choose a bag, which I don't know because I don't have any bags that's this light. And I kinda wanna have like a handheld bag. So let me figure that out and I'll be right back. So I have my accessories on. I just put this cross on and my Microcores watch. And then I just have two Microcores braces on my other wrist. Now, what I can't decide is whether I want to wear like a little bag or if I want to wear this one. I'm aiming towards this one. The only thing is, unless I like stuck this thing, it'd be like really, you can't really like get the gist of it. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to stuff it with something. I mean, I got some towel. I don't want to put no towels in it though. Maybe like a blanket. Maybe if I stuff like a blanket in here. Because I really don't need it as a purse. I could keep my purse in the car. I just need it as, you know, I just need it to be cute. I mean, I got some baby powder on here. I gotta wipe that off. But I want it to look like a true duffel, you know? So, so y'all, I am all ready. The last thing I have to do is put baby oil on, but I think I'm gonna do that right before I walk in because for some reason, my skin just be soaking up that stuff. So I'm gonna put it on right before I go in. But I love the way this look turned out. I feel so cute and I'm team girl. I cannot wait. I really, really hope it's a girl. I will let you guys know. Well, actually you guys will see it in the vlog. So I'm so, so excited, but I need to go because it is now 3.44 and I'm very ashamed that I'm about to be almost an hour late. But you know, coming this style. So that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to give me a big old thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit. I'm lit and if you subscribe, then you will lit too. And that's on what? That's on period, y'all. So yeah, another get ready with me. One get ready with me down a million ago. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.